Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S4 Root.com. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to make a backup ROM uh, if you've installed, if you rooted your, uh, your phone using uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. I'm going to show you how to make a backup ROM with uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, so go ahead and uh, reboot into Recovery. Go ahead and power off your phone. And uh, go ahead and I'm going to show you the manual method. You can also use ROM Manager. Um, but I'm going to show you the manual me uh, method just in case. Go ahead and hit the volume up, center home, and the power button. And when you see the Samsung logo, let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume up and center home button. And you will eventually get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, here, you're going to make a backup ROM. So go ahead and go to uh, backup and restore there. And go ahead and hit um, backup. Or you can also, if you have a micro SD card inserted onto your phone, you can choose backup to external SD card so it doesn't take up uh, space in your internal storage. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and choose the first option, the backup option, which will just uh, back up to your internal storage. So I'm going to go ahead and make a backup. Now, backing up a ROM uh, basically backs up your kernel, um, your whole system, uh, all your settings, all your apps. Um, everything, pretty much everything. So if something goes wrong, maybe you down the later down the line you install a custom ROM, and that something goes uh, messed up, or maybe you end up in a soft brick um, boot loop or whatever, you can always reboot into recovery, just like how I showed you, and choose restore option instead of the backup, and restore whatever you have made a backup of, and all of the. Backups get stored under Clockwork Mod uh, directory. Now, with the newer Clockwork Mod recovery, um, you will have to actually, um, if you want to delete your backups, um, delete the folder with the dates on there, and then also reboot into uh, Clockwork Mod recovery, and you have to actually clear space. Um, that's how it works. Or you can copy the whole Clockwork Mod folder to your uh, computer and copy it back when you need to restore it so it doesn't take up space. Um, but I'll be back. This should take another maybe five minutes and uh, it should back up everything. All right, it is almost done here and it's generating MD5 some and uh, it is done. And uh, your backups, you should be able to find it in Clockwork Mod directory. Now, if you want to restore um, your ROM, go ahead and uh, reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, go to Backup and Restore, go to Restore here like I've shown you. And you'll see all of your backups um, named with a date, timestamp. And also, you can go to Clockwork Mod Recovery. You'll see that directory. It's actually in uh, SD card, Clockwork Mod Backup Directory. Um, you can go ahead and rename these folders. Now, don't use spaces when you rename them. Otherwise, you'll get MD5 uh, error. So I'm going to go ahead and actually restore. And this will actually just restore exactly what I backed up, which is pretty much everything. All right. And this. This backup, uh, backing up does not back up, you know, your your music in your uh, internal storage. Um, it only backs up like system, like app settings, um, your apps, the whole system. But it does not back up um, all of your music, uh, all all of your personal photos or videos. Um, so if you want to make a backup of that, just you know, copy the files, uh, your photos and videos to your computer. Um, but this is going to restore my phone. And we're going to go ahead and reboot after to make sure. And also, when restoring, you do not need to um, do a factory reset because it's going to actually restore all everything. So you don't have to do it. Just restore, and you should be done. So I'll be back when this is done restoring. It should take another five minutes or so. All right, folks. So it says uh, restore complete. If you didn't get any errors, you should be all good to go. And that's how you restore um, your backups. I'm going to go ahead and hit go back. Uh, reboot system now. And uh, now you know how to back up your ROM uh, and restore it. Uh, as a rule of thumb, if you've just rooted your phone using uh, custom recovery, the, the Clockwork Mod method or Twerp method, uh, make sure you do make a backup ROM, just one, and then you know copy the whole folder onto your computer. Uh, one day you'll need it. If you ever want to go back to stock a ROM, you can always restore that. Um, so there you go. My phone's working just the way it was um, since I only restored uh, the ROM I just backed up. And that's how you back up and restore ROMs on the Galaxy S4. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Um, you can also check out a uh, case review of uh, Cruiser Lite. Very nice cases. Um, pretty good deal. 
uh, fits very well. And also, if you have a Galaxy S4, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxys4root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android.